Welcome guys, or welcome back guys, to Trails in the Sky, where we're off to Miss World Forest to chase down the thieves that took the mayor's gem. However, before we do that, I've come back to a certain treasure chest to do a little bit of battle with Sherazard in party. Now that we have ourselves ultimate levels, or at least more levels, more strength, more gear, can we take on this challenge and survive, or will I die horribly as monsters appear? It takes us no time at all to get back where we were. That's quite a lot. <laughs> right, well, they weren't killing me last time, he says. How should I start this? Should I be trying to craft and just smack people? It doesn't seem like that's going to work out for me. And I can't even fire a bolt before things go on here. Um... Let's go for this side. Let's just nullify one. Oh. That's a good start, isn't it? Uh-oh! There's loads of enemies! He'll be fine, right? Well, at least the others have craft points. So, let's show them a hurricane. Uh, at least take down one. We got one. And here comes the charges. Hopefully these aren't, like, killer blows now that I've got extra gear. Okay, that's only 36 damage to Sherazard, so I think Sherazard might be able to tank it anyway. Alright, where do I want to go in the middle of all this, is the question. Can I take this guy out? Ah! Oh! It's close, but no, no, no win. I'm wondering if I should take one of these out for now. I mean, I could just go full sever and just knock one out of the battle. What about the guy at the back? That's one more source of damage down. I'm sure some people would have pointed out I should have done the ones that are gathering power now. Oh, everyone's gathering power. Oh, everyone's gathering power. Right! This looks like it could end up with someone being horribly beaten up crappily. Um, can I hit more than these targets? Oh, there we go. Alright, we killed the plant. Here we go, kitty kicks. Yeah, hit Sherazard! She's the most offensive. Well, I don't mind Sherazard getting some more CP. She got Sylph and Whip if she wants to do that. She could start taking some more out with that. Alright, that's definitely helped quite a bit. Alright, we can't do anything there. Anyone that's within a one-shot blow? Yep. Yeah. yeah, I think we'll manage this quite fine. Do another hurricane. I think I might be able to get all four, you know. Hurricane's really good. Yeah, come back for some things like this a little bit later. And it's nice and easy at that point, yeah? Let's take out Power Focuser. It'd be good if, like, we got, like, a power up on a hurricane or a critical oh, lap on a hurricane. Yes, we're done already, Sheriff's up. God, you got so much more experience than the rest of the guys. And all that red sepith. Well, guess what we need? A topaz talisman. You open the empty chest and set aside. The chest steps back accusingly. Not like I've defeated all the monsters that were inside you. Bah, you fought my plan. And now I will grow legs and be cute. Nice way to easily take one out. But with all that Sepith now, I'm pretty sure. If I go to slot again, I can upgrade and unlock another one. Ah! Just go to. Th there we go. Got there in the end. Let's open another slot for you. Next one is on the 80s, but that's going to be a little bit of a while off. What courts do I have to put in it? Okay, evade one eagle eye, you can see enemies from distance, or dex plus five. I want to put eagle eye in there. 
It gives a lot of elemental value. Does that give spells too? No. The only spell I would gain was from Evade doing Strike there. I could go with Hit so I can make sure I can hit better too. Seems like you're the person with multi-purpose gems at the moment there, Estelle. Job done. Problem one sorted. There's no more jobs, is there? We've all got all the jobs done. We just need to go to Mistworld. But I guess it probably wouldn't be a bad idea just because of some little health usage. But we didn't use anything else. Ah! Do I rest or not? I mean, you probably cost a bit, don't you? 30 mirror? Oh, I'll do it. Well, that's nice. I'll take that. Battle one, not a problem. Let's go down. The Topaz Talisman we haven't actually checked out either. So, where are we looking? Sherazard. The talisman crafted from a type of septum. The wearer's attack and defense will become earth based. So, elemental effects on the weapon, too? That could be crap as well as could be good. But then I guess we can always use spell attacks to, uh, if you come up against that problem. Right, back on the trail to where we were going. He sleeps at the hotel. Well, sometimes you got to live in luxury. All right, where are we headed? Galune Gate, Rollant. I found the Mistworld Forest last time. We've been there before, after all. At least I don't have to fix any lampposts going around. Excuse me, bug. We've got another couple of areas to get through first. I feel like I'm going to be spamming Hurricane a lot, so I want more CP on Estelle, really. Right, East Miss World. Beware of monsters. That's this way. I do wonder if I should go, uh... The other way, though, and see if there's anything there. Doesn't look like anyone wants to fight me this time. No one's spotted me. Well, I'll take the stealth as we enter Miss World proper. So this is Miss World, huh? Can you tell us anything, Cher? Someone came through here, all right? From what I can see, a number of people passed through here not long ago. I wage a mirror. We're on the right track. How can you be so sure? Because tracking fugitives is an essential skill for bracers. Anyway, let's check the woods. Be sure to keep your voices low. Roger that. Understood. A bracer's bell bondsman too? Well, that was a cut through then. Well, I won't keep my voice low. Are you new bugs? Or bugs that we fought once before? Killer Hornet. Weak to fire on the extreme. But I think, to be honest, if I just go with normal attacks, I should be beating these guys up no problem. Such as the joy of preemptives. And Sherazard smack them hard Harvey. Two experience for Sherazard there. Not so much. I guess we got eight experience because everyone... Oh, what the hell are you? Because everyone was giving us one experience last time. Alright, they're not weak to anything, it seems. Oh, ah! Dodgy, aren't you? You're not necessarily weak to anything. Let's just pile in the firebolts here. Don't fragrantly aroma me! I barely did anything! I'll do even less to her! Well, I guess in a sense, we could come into this area- Oh, wait a second, it cancelled the spell! What are you, fancy Dan, cancelling spells? I better attack if I want to get set with. Go on, hit! Yeah! Alright, let's, uh... I just want to attack and hope for the critical at this point. <laughs> oh! Go on, go with the, uh, firebolt again. And I'll try to attack again. Go on, I should got the hit gem. Just so I can definitely hit these guys. All these criticals that I can't hit! 
Well, technically, as long as I'm just using one person with an art and it wants to try and cancel the art, I could just keep hitting and it would never do anything right. It works, I guess. That's that then. Let's move out. Well, not the kind of step if I'm looking to get though, however. Alright, hello bug. Hello everything. You say there's a map. I don't feel it helps me that much. How can I get that map? Do I actually have to right click on it with a mouse? Well, I didn't want to get attacked first, that's for sure. Oh, what? Poison? Uh, how bad is poison? Uh oh. Oh, very bad. When does that wear off? I mean, they're weak to fire, that's for sure, but. I'm glad we resisted that. Let's make sure I don't get surprise attacked again, eh? Definitely safer to avoid that kind of trouble. Your hit rates are amazing, people. Right, it's run out of Sherazard already. I don't want to constantly be using EP. So it just seems like Joshua's having a bad time. At least it runs off before the battle ends. So I don't have to use an item except maybe in the middle of battle. But, okay, we've added status effects. That's never exactly good. Yeah, the map only brings me that map. Don't know why you want to tell me. Right, oh, no, 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 no. I fought you before. I'm fine with that. This is the dead end we obviously got the goodies from before. And then I hightailed out of town. Joshua! What did I just say? Someone's got a critical attack as well. Eh, get poisoned again. Oh, I should have bought more, like, resist poison stuff in town. That'd have been a great idea. In fact, I guess it's not really too late to go back. I could deck. I've got loads of money. If I deck everyone out with resist, resist poison, this place becomes a lot easier. Love an HP heal on me at the moment, that's for sure. I guess, considering I've got two attachment stops, I should actually be like abusing that as well as I could. So, would this be a good idea to like shoot back out and then shoot back in? Uh, which way was I going? use the game to its full advantage after all. If we're going into a forest full of monsters that poison and their main damage is poison, to nullify that poison would trivialize the area, surely. And I'm sure I can make it back to town in about two seconds time. But it seems like the enemies themselves don't really want to deal with me anymore. They're all facing the other way. No one looks at me anymore. It's quite weird, that. No one looks at me the wrong way anymore. That wow, took me like 30 seconds to run back. Let me get Joshua healed as well. Life will be good there. Right, this is where we want to go. So, I'm guessing you don't have any new equipment to buy, but... Prevents poison. I'll have two more of them. And you know what? Prevents sleep. Let's get one of them. And a white bracelet too, another blind one. 
Never in most games do I put so much stock in accessories. Let's put it that way. But this one we may do. Oh, have I bought way too much of a stuff here? Let's get you prevent blinds. Uh, Josh was already prevent blinds, so sh no poison for you. And no poison for you. I don't know if Earth Attacker will even do that good. We'll have to find an area to put that talisman on to be proper. And let's rest in the hotel again to irritate people that I'm paying 30 mirror <laughs> when I don't have to. Bit of a slow start, but we're learning stuff here. And most importantly, if you'll notice, we're so close to using Sherizard Special. Finding out what that looks, looks like proper. Back down the Ellie's Highway, we now have complete poison prevention and protection. There'd be nothing else I could use my money on. I'll take it. When the monsters do 6 damage, but the poison does 33, I'll take that as a massive hint. Always use protection. That's what that told me. Bit weirded out that no monsters are making any eye contact anymore. I guess this is what you get for just charging your way in. Maybe enemy positioning is always based to be that if you're running at full speed, nothing will look at you. I don't know. Back to Miss World. We are healed to full. Everything is good. Every enemy is looking the opposite direction. We're literally at the point we were last time. Let's keep exploring. Deeper into the forest. Let's find out. Hello. The hell are you? Oh, not one of them things. Ah. Explodes when defeated. That's just not what we need. So this is high armored, but weak to certain moves. Okay. If I move way back. I'm guessing you are already far enough back that everything is good there. Now let's start casting arts on this guy first. Oh, technically I don't need two then. Ah, here's something to find out. Will it retarget? Yes! That's not good. I'm just out of range. All good. All fine. Completely planned. Piece of cake. Yeah, piece of cake. Hey, they gave experience! Hey, nice. Right, so all we really need to do is, uh... Kind of go in? <laughs> See the uselessness of that ability. And then just cast some firebolts and win the game. As always, I find in a lot of JRPGs, it either makes physical attacks over powers, so magic attacks are useless, or it just makes magic attacks over powers, so physical attacks are useless. Have they... Oh, oh, oh. Should have attacked you. Have they managed to find themselves a nice balance? <laughs> Strategy. That's what we're talking about. Right. We're good to go. Now, was it these guys that gave a nice experience? It was. I should fight them to grab another level up, basically. Just the one. The only problem is you don't want to use all the EP in the world either. So I'm just wondering if I just physical attack, I reckon I can beat this guy without using any EP. What we need is some EP regain on attack, really. Oh, Sherazard's at 100. Sherazard's at 100. get that level. A curative horn is gained. I'm just wondering uh, which branch to take at this point. Because one of these branches is going to lead us to a treasure chest, isn't it? Oh, hello. Question, which side forwards your face? Come on, there's got to be a treasure chest in here. Oh, hello. You turned around. Oh, you didn't. Oh, there's loads of them. Well, this one's going to be a critical at the very least.
Oh, so good. Best critical. 10 out of 10. Alright, fire about that one because that one's been weakened. And fire about the middle one. It's at least going to lower a few of our enemies. Say this whip time kinda. Actually, I think on this guy. That'll work out for me. Let's finally use Sherazard's Esprit. Haven't we used it before? I'm confused now. Someone's been naughty. I thought I'd used it last time. Now I'm confused. <laughs> Memory. That's the level I was after, though. Loads of Earth Sepith, though. I'll take that. Right. Or you. A Bear Claw. Okay. So the Pine Plants gave 15 as well before. Oh god, is this place a horrible maze? Well, I can't rotate the camera anymore. Ah, oh, it's the... It's the Rota Tree. Nothing seems to be here. But that tree has obviously some import, otherwise it wouldn't be like out here in this weird location. And with no mini-map to be able to say exactly where I am. It does complicate matters. Likelihood is I went the right way for it straight off the bat, you know? Fine if I got a bear claw. Let's dodge you, because you're the guy over there. We come back through that way. There's another bear claw. Why not take that too? Okay, that's just an empty area. Yeah, I, I, I went the right way first time, didn't I? Do I just attack this guy and hope for the best? Or do I use an art and finish it? It wouldn't even come beforehand anyway at this point. Let's see how much damage these guys do. Quite a bit, because that's even to Sherazard. But she'll be fine. <laughs> Seems you came up short. Yeah, not as much experience this time around. When they were giving 30, it was just like, yeah, keep fighting. Oh, you're in my way! I thought that was Well, at least we know that we're within a. Uh, Tolerance for not being hit by the explosion at the end of things here. Find yeah. forty. Oh, critical! No wonder. Burning monsters to death. To be honest, it's not even that far for another level of fighting those guys still. They still give a significant amount of experience. Let's go this way then. Essentially, I can rotate the camera is a good thing. Oh, what have we found? Hello. Haha, <laughs> that was too easy. And I think that something as exquisite as this fell into my hands with almost no effort. Wait till Don and Carl hear about this. You surprised me, that's for sure. The way you pulled off that act when that school uniform was simply astounding. Just what you'd expect from the mademoiselle of an ex-aristocratic family. Yeah, yeah, but what's in the past is in the past. But it certainly doesn't hurt that in this outfit I can deceive almost anyone. That gullible mayor and dim-witted bracer girl. Idiots, the whole lot of them! What was that? Calm down, let's see what else they have to say. Do you expect to just sit here and listen to this? Fine, but I'm not happy about this. Let's, let's, let's listen. I'm just going to get Moxon more, aren't I? This is why Joshua likes it. He wants it to happen. 
fine, but I'm not happy about this. Yeah, but that girl seemed pretty tough. I mean, she took care of all the monsters that appeared in the mine. The mine? Oh, so you're the one who screwed up their job. If you had just done it like you were supposed to, I wouldn't have had to put on a monkey show to get this thing. My apologies. Ha! Ah, forget about it. All's well that ends well. At any rate, those two kids being braces was an absolute joke. Especially that brainless bimbo. She honestly believed that we could be friends. What a freaking moron! I just try so hard just to keep them laughing. <laughs> How stupid could she be? <laughs> it's just so absurd. Now that is rich. What's so funny? It, it's you guys. Yep, it's the brainless bimbo and an absolute joke of a bracer partner. And this probably won't come as a surprise, but we're going to beat you up now. What? Braces? How did they find... You need to find job stealing that septium from the mayor's residence, but it looks like you were a little careless in the end. In accordance with the laws of the Bracer Guild, you are hereby under arrest and charged with breaking and entering, vandalism and burglary. It would be your, in your best interest not to resist, but I'm sure Estelle is hoping you will. This doesn't look good. W what are we going to do now, Josette? How about you quit quaking your boots for stars? These braces are nothing more than a ragtag group of kids. I think it's time we show them the real strength of the Capua family. Oh, hello. Who are you caught to be calling us kids? You, you brat. I'm heading up to here and I'm going to do something about it right now. Hey, that's my line. She's got a gun. Run. Right, boys. Get him. Roger that. My pleasure. Understood. Right, Josette is preparing to use us. I'm sure you are. How are we going to break these guys easily? Do you have a weakness at all? Okay, 415 damage. Preparing to use arts. Supposedly it's on a critical moment as well. Don't I have... I thought I had that. Oh, no, I don't. Never mind. Why an art that cancels arts? Oh, no, that's when I attack normally. Yeah, 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 I remember now. Right, we could just nuke them. <laughs> right, let's go with dual strike first. Let's try to take out one of these guys at the front. And they're obviously going to move in to attack. So hopefully they gather up for a nice hurricane here. Kind of want to kill one of them so the turn order moves away from Lady over there having a critical attack and just nuking someone to death. That would be nice. So do I go full in now? Ooh. I think I could just kill one and change order to be honest, but it'd have to be the other one I kill. Oh. Can I modify order anymore? To get that splot. No. And have to bash her in the face and kill her herself. It's a bit of a shame. Well, we're going to get hit with this critical. I'm sure it'll be fine. I still can whip one of these guys down. Maybe I don't want to be gathered so close together, mind you. You missed the other one. Let's just pummel these guys out and see what kind of damage... The boss lady's about to do on that critical. Oh, I missed again! This is gonna be interesting. Petrify breath! Well, that hurt. Not that bad. I be fine, honest. So if I attack, will I modify the chart at all? It seems the still has a health up anyway for being able to make it to the next bit. I should be able to take out one of these goons, at the very least, yeah? Depends if this guy revives them. Alright, let's just... Finish one of these here, to be honest. Thingy's not appearing on a critical time this time, so that's fine. Oh, if I attack, I can get on the critical. Now, if I use an art, I can get on the critical. Hmm. But only if I use tear. So if I heal myself this turn, I can be on the critical next turn. But that's the critical heal. <laughs> You moron! 
like the enemy hadn't even done anything to me. This is where I get petrified. Ah, we're cool. Well, let's finish up the uh, small goof troops over here. Shouldn't be too hard to do that after all. How do I keep missing that one? Alright, just uh, dual strike that one, maybe take that one down. Oh, you didn't manage it? You're failing me here. Oh, now you're just shooting me with a gun, are you? I'm saving my special stuff for you, lady. You're gonna get pummeled. Trust me when I say that. I'm gonna pummel the crap out of you. Here we go. Now it's just me, me and you. Let's pummel it. I feel like an attack of that should stop you as well. Wait, you get another go after? You get to start charging an attack or use another attack? Oh, you might actually take her out of this, right? No, you're just using an art again. Oh, 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 critical. Yeah, sure, whatever. Farewell. Have a good day. Oh, I'm still alive? Well, I guess I should use a craft to boost my hit chance, maybe. I don't know. So spells always hit. But this modifies it to the critical. So I'm quite cool with that. And that modifies it to the health stuff. So, life's not good for you. Sorry, lady. Bye, Joseph. Ooh, lovely Sepith. Now give us our crystal. How in the world? You had enough yet? That's what you get for taking braces lightly. And we'll be taking this back if you don't mind, thank you very much. Recovered the Septium crystal. Hey, that Septium belongs to me! No, not to you. To the people of Roland. That's who. The sheer nerve you have to say something like that is astounding. Now that we've got the crystal back, how about we move on to confession time? That's the interesting name you mentioned. The Kapua family, was it? Me and my big mouth. I have absolutely no idea what you were talking about. So you want to be a tough egg to crack, do you? I don't mind at all. In fact, I like them that way. Ah! What are you trying to do? That's a dangerous thing to be swinging around like that. Well, if you can't answer with your mouth, then maybe your body can answer instead. But don't worry, I'll be extra gentle. Ah! Get away from me, you crazy witch! I think Cher is enjoying this. Let's just sit back and enjoy the show. Look out, Shara! What? An orbital gun? Are you alright, Shara? I'm fine. Forget about me. Look at that! Well, this turns tables. An airship? Ha ha ha! Looks like the tables are turning in our favor now, aren't they? Are you okay, Josette? Kyle, you're late. Where have you been? Oh, never mind. Just hurry up and give us a hand. No can do. Our push in the Rollet region has been put on hold. Something big came up in the Bose region while you were away. What's that supposed to mean? I don't have time to explain. Hurry and hop on. I'll have to leave you behind. Crap. Just where do you think you're going? We'll pick this up another day. Don't think you've won either. Payback's gonna be a beast. I'm just going to point out you've got a gun. You can take pot shots there as well. You went up there, but uh, don't bother then. It's just a way to eliminate your enemies. But you're a villain. I get it. You don't do that. You eliminate the hero. There's no fun. I sure wasn't expecting anything like that to come out of the woodwork. <laughs> it looks like they caught us all off guard. This isn't a laughing matter. Right now, I'm so frustrated. I don't even know what to think. Well, on the bright side, we did get the Septium Crystal back. Switching gears. That group sure looked to me like a bunch of sky bandits. 
Yes, it certainly seemed that variety. It also sounds like they made the Bows region their base of operations as well. I certainly wouldn't have expected a group like that to travel all the way to a rural place like Roland. I can care less if they're Sky Bandits or Brigands. The next time I see that scruffy lying jerk of a tomboy, I'm gonna thwack bam kapow her! What's thwack bam kapow supposed to mean? Thus, the Septium Crystal, stolen from the Mayor's residence, was safely recovered. After returning to the Mayor, Estelle and the others returned to the Guild to report the details of the incident, as they learned that Estelle could speak fluent Adam West. It looks like you've had a rough day. Who'd have thought the Sky Bandits would appear? I don't blame you for letting them escape. No, this time it was my fault. I should have been more careful. I'm really far from being in the same league as Cassius. It's not your fault, Sharon. I let my emotions get the best of me and beat them up like we were supposed to. I was careless as well. No, you guys did a great job. I'd even give you a passing grade for your on-site investigation in the mayor's residence. Don't you think you should recommend the miner? Yes, I was thinking the same thing as well. Recommend? What do you mean? Hold your horses. First comes the payment for a job well done. Right, the mayor will theft. I just got myself some extra VP and, uh... Well, I thought that said no cash, but it's the bonus cash. Current rank is Junior Bracer, 7th class. This is for you both. Take this as well. Receive the recommendation. This is... As of now, you're both Junior Bracers. In other words, Bracers in training. In order to become Senior Bracers, you'll need to receive recommendations from all regional branches in the Kingdom. This is your recommendation from the Roland branch. Is it really okay for us to have this? I'd heard that in order to become a full-fledged Bracer, we'd need to achieve something fairly noteworthy. I think in light of the jobs performed in your father's stead, and your great showing here, your achievements are sufficient. However, those achievements are only for your work here in Roland. I'll need to receive recommendations from the other regional branches after achieving success there as well. Bose, Luan, Zeiss, and finally, Glancel. You've still got a long road ahead of you. Even so, I'm really happy. It was worth all the hard work. Now that we've come this far, don't you think we should visit the other regions too, Joshua? I figured you'd say as much. I agree with you, but we can't decide this all by ourselves. We should discuss it with Dad when he gets home. Right. Speaking of... Oh. That's a telephone, right? Hello, this is the Bracelet Guild's Rollant Branch in the Liberal Kingdom. Has been a while since we last talked, hasn't it? I see. Are you sure? That's terrible. I wonder if something happened. It looks that way to me. Yes, that's right. He left on business the other day. No, it's about him. What? I apologise, but this is a little difficult to believe. Understood. I pass on the news to his family. They'll be fine. They're braces too. Yes, and if you hear anything else, please let me know. What's wrong, Aina? It's unusual for you to be so surprised like that. Who was calling? The Bose Branch. Something terrible has happened. The airliner Lind has disappeared over the Bose region. What? How is that possible? I don't know any of the details, but the Royal Army is currently conducting a wide-scale search. Due to this event, all of our flights have been postponed. Well, that explains the backup of the landing port. And... Ina? Estelle of Joshua, please brace yourselves. Your father Cassius was aboard the airliner which went missing. What? Impossible! There's got to be some kind of mistake. It seems his name was on the passenger list. Libel Bracer Guild, Roland Branch, Senior Bracer, Cassius Bright, 45. And so the prologue comes to an end. Now we get into the thick of it. The reason we have to journey far and wide. A father's love, a new beginning is over. What comes next? Oh, save point time. Why not? Why not? Estelle, are you in there? Joshua, dinner's ready. Just to let you know, we'll be having roasted basil chicken and onion soup gratin. Wow, he's a chef. That sounds so good. I'll come down later, so why don't you two go on ahead and eat? All right. Well, make sure to come down before your food gets cold. A Wheel of Fortune card. Again, something really is going on. I just can't see what it is. Hmm. 
Where's Estelle? She said to go ahead and eat without her. She didn't seem to have an appetite. I see. She took the news a lot better than I thought she would. It's not surprising she doesn't want to come out of her room, seeing as how close she is with her father. I agree. So what do you think about all of this, Sharon? Is it an accident or an incident? Ew, to be honest, I couldn't say other way. Your dad is a top class bracer. When it comes to crisis management, he's the best there is. Whichever it is, if your father happens to be there, it'll be resolved. But the fact is, an airliner along with your father has gone missing. In other words, what you're trying to say is that things that shouldn't have happened, happened, right? Don't lose heart on me now. You need to be a stout wall of support and bear Estelle up. I'll get to work tomorrow and see what I can find out. Man, it sure smells good down here. I can't stand it any longer. What? Estelle, are you okay? I'm so hungry I thought I was going to pass out. Oh, this looks so good. Bon appetit! Aren't you two having any? This is great. The basil flavour really comes out when you roast it. You sure know how to cook, Joshua? Well, well thanks. Come on, Sherrod, don't just sit there too. Do you want to drink some of my dad's brandy from his secret stash? I'm pretty sure there's a bottle of Steinrose that's about 20 years old in there. You know about the secret stash? Did you say Steinrose? And 20 years old too? Shara, what do you think you're doing? Ah, uh, sorry Estelle. I'm gonna have to pass this time. By the way, what were you doing up in your room? You didn't come down even after Joshua called you for supper. Alright, oh, I was just looking for some extra underwear. I was having a bit of trouble finding one of my favourites because it was stuffed in the back of one of the drawers. <laughs> Favourite underwear, it's always a thing. Uh, underwear? Oh, and a set of gear for travelling. I mean, who knows how long we'll be gone, so I figure as long as we're prepared, we'll have nothing to worry about. Uh... So what you're saying is, you intend to head to Bose to find your father? Well, duh, that's a no-brainer. And while I can't imagine anything bad happened to him, despite his horrible luck, waiting around just doesn't suit me, so I'm going to go check things out for myself. <laughs> you really are something else. Whether it's your positive attitude or thick skin, I can't say. But, <sighs> you're so rude, Joshua. But you were coming along too, right? Of course. However, it looks like all airliner flights have been cancelled until the army finishes their search. It seems like the only way to Bose is on foot. Walk to Bose, huh? I wonder how long that's going to take. For a bracer on foot, if they hurry, they can make it there in about half a day. But if that's the route you're taking, that makes things easy. I think I'll tag along as well. Really? You'll come with us? But aren't you busy with a bunch of other jobs? Hey, I trained under your father, right? Did you honestly think I'd just sit here when something could have happened to the person I owe so much to? I'm going to talk to Ina and have her pass my jobs at the guild to another member. Shara. We really appreciate this, Shara. You really shouldn't be thanking me. I just can't leave a job as big as this up to a bunch of newbies. I hate to say it, but you're probably right. Oh well, since Shara's along for the ride now, I do feel a bit more confident. We appreciate you coming with us. Haha, <laughs> myself as well. Anyway, let's make sure to drop by the guild tomorrow morning before we leave. I'll need to explain the situation to Ina. And so begins chapter one, the disappearance of the Linde. Always wonder how to pronounce that, Lind, Linde. We'll figure it out. I'm sure there'll be voice act. No, no, no. Let's move on. I'm just gonna drive everyone crazy with the way I say things. I understand the situation now. To be frank though, with Sherazar taking off after Cassius, I'm going to be really short-handed. But since this involves him directly, please don't worry about anything. I really appreciate this, Aina. Make good use of Ridge while we're gone. He should be able to deal with at least three times his normal workload. <laughs> don't you think that's a bit harsh? Don't worry, if things get too hectic, I'll ask for help from the Grand Soul branch. By the way, Sherazard, can I get a minute? I'd like to talk with you about the job you were going to do. Sure, no problem. Estelle, Joshua, can I have you two wait upstairs? I'll be done in a minute. Understood. Um, Shara, if we're going to be waiting, would you mind if we did it out in front of the clock tower? I'd like to say hi to someone. Well, yeah, that's right. Okay, then, let's meet up in front of the clock tower. As soon as I'm done here, I'll head over there myself. Got it. Come on, Joshua. Uh, sure. So, are we saying hello to? Ah, Septian Calendar 1075, erected in partnership with the Labelle Royal Family, Septian Church and Ront City. Septian Calendar, well, 1192, that's the way of saving. 
1192. The year 1192. Destroyed during the Hundred Days War when Rollant was bombarded by the Erebonian Imperial Army. In 1197, it was rebuilt with the cooperation of the citizens of Rollant. Every time I see this clock tower, I always think they sure did a superb job restoring it after the war. You can sure feel the spirit of Rollant's people from this. Estelle? Um, Joshua? What do you think about going up with me and waiting until Shara shows up? You mean the clock tower? Sure, I don't mind. Okay, come on. I can see where this is pointing. Is that who you've got to say hello to? The morning air is so refreshing. Hello, Joshua. We can see the house from here. You're right. I can see the roof. But do you want to tell me what's going on since you've always avoided coming up here? I was under the impression that you didn't like this place. I like this place, but I just can't casually come up here. Because this is the place where my mum died. What? Ten years ago, during the war, when the Appeal Army surrounded Roland, they bombarded the symbol of the city, the clock tower, to try and get the citizens to surrender. This was at the time Dad was fighting in the Royal Army. I wanted to see who he was fighting against, so I climbed up the clock tower. And when the bombardment started, I couldn't get away. When I came to, I hardly had a scratch on me. My mother had saved me. I was wrapped tightly in her arms, shielded from the rebel. And as I cried, she sang my favourite lullaby. But, when they finally dug us free... After the war ended and this place has been rebuilt, I avoided coming here for the most part. It's not because I have painful memories of this place, though. It's just, when I come here, a part of me wants so much to draw on her strength. Plus, I felt that I can't be strong like her if I'm always trying to rely on her. Estelle. But today is okay, right? Relying on her just this once? Asking her to bring Dad home safely. Asking her to protect him. Of course it is. Don't worry. Dad's safe for sure. Your mother's protecting him, so there's no doubt in my mind that he's safe. And if he happens to be in a bit of trouble, then you can come to his rescue. Just like your mother did for you, you can do the same for your dad. And don't forget, I'm here to help you too. Joshua, I know I can't completely understand everything you've been through, but I can stay here by your side as I am now. And if you need a shoulder to cry on, you've always got mine. So. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Joshua, you're trying too hard. You should say things like that so lightly. What do you mean? If I were any other girl, I would totally have misinterpreted your intentions just now. You're seriously the type who's going to have problems with romantic relationships in the future. I'm already starting to get worried. Well, excuse me for trying to be nice. Why do you have to be like that when someone is genuinely worried about you? Thanks for cheering me up, Joshua. I feel a lot better now. I guess as long as I get some kind of thanks, it was worth looking like a complete fool. But you're unbelievable. Ugh. Don't be so mad. I'm really thankful, believe it or not. So how we get down from here, huh? I'm sure Cher is waiting for us. You're probably right. Mum, I finally realised why I wanted to become a bracer. So I could become strong and protect others just like you. So please watch and see. I won't fail to bring Dad home safe again. Ah, the two of you had such a cute scene going on up there. Why my cheeks even felt a bit hot just thinking about it. What's that supposed to mean? You were spying on us? Give me some credit, will you? I just happened to see you when I looked up to check the time. I sure wish I had an orbital camera to get a shot of that view. Come on. What are you trying to say, Cher? That's called family bonding, plain and simple. It's kind of like your habit of hugging everyone after your third bottle of wine. Oh, let's not get into that. What's up with the sigh? You really don't know how to take a joke, do you? Well, whatever. Did you say hi to Lena while you were up there? Yeah. I even asked for her to watch over Dad. I see. Then I guess it looks like you're all set. You know Lena's protection is equal to that of the goddess herself. Your dad's safety is pretty much guaranteed. I think you may be giving her a little too much credit. Now you mention it, you met Estelle's mother before, right, Sharon? Yeah, when I was a child. I was still in a troupe at the time. A troupe? Yeah, a troupe in a travelling circus. Cheryl was a dancer. Although it was a long time ago, we first met when she came to Rollin with the circus. 
12 years ago to be exact. I was 11, and Estelle was 4. And because of that chance encounter, when I became a bracer, I trained under your father. I didn't know that. Maybe I'll tell you about it sometime when I get a chance. Are you about ready to head out for Bose? With airliner flights cancelled, we'll just have to make our way to Bose the old-fashioned way, by foot. First, we'll need to make our way to the Vert Bridge checkpoint, which sits on the border of the Bose region. The Vert Bridge is located at the west end of the Milch Main Road. It looks like we're all set, so let's go! You say we're all set. Milch Main Road is, of course, that away. So we're going through where we drilled those soldiers before. But we don't leave without checking if there's any more quests in the area, right? Of course there is. All right, letter carrier, Father Divine. 800 Mira difficulty low. I'm looking for someone to deliver a personal letter to a colleague of mine in Bose. Please come see me at the Robert Chapel for details. Hey, if it's a courier job, we should be able to manage that, no problem. Courier job, cool year. Oh, good morning, everyone. Are you going on a journey somewhere? Yeah, just over to Bose. Is that so? Then in that case, could I ask a favor of you? I'd want to send Father Holstein a letter, but the airliners are grounded. So how about it? Can I get you to deliver this letter while you're there in Bose? Sure thing. Sure, we'll do it. Shouldn't be a problem since the letter's not that big to begin with. I really appreciate this. All right then, here you are. We received <laughs> Divine's letter. So all we need to do is give this letter to Father Holstein in Bose, right? Yes, the chapel is on the east side of the Bose city, so it should be fairly easy to locate. Traveling around other regions and broadening your knowledge is food for the mind. I pray that the goddess will guide you on your journey. Sure thing, we got the letter. Job done there. But let's check for any other equipment that I can buy at this point. After all, a new chapter might mean new stuff in the shop. Or... Not. Oh well. I'm guessing we still didn't have enough stuff to open any more slots at this point in time. Nope, not 30 on the red, so that's not... That's a bust completely. Any more corks so we can make extra? I mean, technically I'm quite interested in synthesizing a hit gem at the very least. Because I keep missing a bit. <laughs> quite a bit. Time to cast, cast arts and set blind enemies with 10% success. A lot of these would be quite good. We've got impede on, but it's all on hit, so... Ah, oh, well. Alright, let's talk to you. Right, let's shop a little bit, see what you've got available. Right, we've got another episode of Libel News. Accident, incident, details inside. Let's buy that then. Uh, incident tape. Quick fix tape to repair a neutralized augment. Cures mute. Yeah, I'll take a few of them. I mean, I've got a couple of revives there. Probably should take a couple of Purging Balm, Poison Seal Blind. Mute. Insulating tape. Sounds kind of weird, to be honest. I've got a fair few salves there, and I don't think we've got any more food to really buy at this point. Where's our second issue of the LaBelle News? Gone without trace, where could it be? Yesterday afternoon, the airline Lind vanished over East Bose airspace while en route to Rolland. An exhaustive overnight search conducted by the Royal Army yielded no clues to, where it's, to its whereabouts, leaving all parties baffled. I again got messed up by the caption text under the picture. Damn you, caption text. In response to this incident, the army has declared all airliner flights cancelled until further notice. Fate of Lind passengers unknown. The Lebel Orbital Ship Corporation reports that 17 were aboard the Lind at the time of its departure, including both passengers and crew. Family members of these missing persons are understandably concerned, but remain hopeful. Probability of accident is low, says expert. Central Factory Chief Murdoch proclaims that our orbital engines are sturdy and reliable. The chance of an engine failure is virtually nil. I do not believe an accident to have occurred. Rumors and theories abound. Was it a conspiracy perpetrated by the Royal Army and the covered mercenary force comprised of Jaegers? Perhaps it was a plot to kidnap the passengers and hold them for ransom. Some have even suggested that Lind came under attack by the last living ancient dragon. No matter what anyone may have heard, it's all just speculation at this point, as no real evidence has yet been found. The Royal Army is investigating a possible connection between this incident and the recent burglaries in Bose, but thus far no information on any such connection has been released. In fact, no information has been released at all due to Army regulations prohibiting the dissemination of intelligence to the general public, a policy that I'm sure we'd all like to be see repealed. Society section, we've moved on. Crystal stolen and daring robbery! 
A group of unknown individuals recently broke into the Roland Mayor's house to steal a septium crystal that was left in his possession. Local bracers came to the rescue and managed to recover the stolen item, but the culprits are still at large. Thankfully, no harm came to the mayor or his family during this incident. We deeply regret that the criminals escaped, Sir Roland Bracer representative, but please know that we of the Bracer Guild did everything in our power to apprehend them and will continue the pursuit for however long it may take. Except we've completely forgot about them and we're moving on. More pressing things, you know. Culture. Touring ancient sites, the Roland region and the Esmolus Tower. The Esmolus Tower lies a few hundred cells to the north of Roland City, along the Malga Trail. Its turquoise green visage is the only real landmark for as far as the eye can see. Counting as one of the four tetracyclic towers, its purpose is still shrouded in mystery to this day. This exciting location is as old as Laverne itself, and modern research utilizing the latest orbital technology is expected to answer a few questions about this eerie structure while posing still others. Right. Paper has been read. It was definitely aliens. It's always aliens. Ancient alien dragons. That's the one. Definitely. Well, off the Minch's main road we go. Actually, should I just check to see if anyone's out of position randomly in town? Looks like everyone's pretty much in the same places. The cat lady likes Joshua after all. Today's another great day for a cat nap. Looks like we'll be able to relax this afternoon. Good old Harold. You're cute. Meow some more. Yes! I invited her to the Queen's birthday celebration. She said yes! I'm going to have to get a part-time job and save some cash. I waffled back and forth for a bit, but in the end, I decided to go with him to the Queen's birthday celebration as a couple. My mother's already going with her friends. I'm sorry, mother, but I want to go with him. Ah, young love blooms. Oh, it's Estelle. You going somewhere? Something like that. I'll be away from Roland for a while. Don't cry yourself to sleep while I'm gone. Shut up. Who's going to cry themselves to sleep over you? But do you know when you'll be coming back? I have no idea. Oh. He just wants me to stay. <gasps> Hurry and come back, all right? Did you say something? N never mind. Ah, oh, little boy has a crush. Little boy has a crush. Still, Joshua, are you really headed to Bose? <laughs> I should have guessed you'd know. You're always one of the first to hear everything. There's a little something we need to check on, so that's why we're headed to Bose. Not only is Cassius gone, but now you two are leaving. Ah, oh, I want to tag along. Joshua, take me with you. I uh don't think that would be a good idea. But I'm concerned about other incidents happening. I get so worried. I bet you do. Is there anything more to buy in Cafe Abend? Now we've already bought the wholesome pasta, haven't we? Oh, these are all... Oh, recipe not learned. I should buy one of every one of these then. There we go. Now that's called learning via eating. This... Well, I'd love to have that ability myself. I made up my mind. I'm going to believe in the man my daughter chose to marry. Ah, oh, thank you, finally. I'm sure he'll work hard to be independent and make my daughter happy. Maybe I'll just see what I can do to help him out. Yes, be good. If it isn't a cell and Joshua, what's with all the baggage? I'm um, actually... It's not explained that we're heading to boats. Oh, I see. I'd be worried too if I were in your shoes. You should probably get going then. Waiting around certainly isn't your style. Ha, <laughs> you're right. I'll be going then. There's a miner that must be very happy that you can still eat eggs thanks to me. That reminds me, I saw the boss here in town. I better be careful so he doesn't catch me ditching work. Oh, nail that voice acting every time. Yesterday I saw something flying away from the south. It was too big to be a bird, so it makes me wonder what it was. These old eyes could have been playing tricks on me though. I'm guessing it was the airship, not a UFO. Alright, let's head on the Bose Road then. Not gonna talk to everyone, even though that's what I should be doing in a Neon Falcon game, as learned from Ease. Doubt there's any new monsters here. Oh, now the monsters want to come kill me. You didn't before. To be honest, it takes half a day to get here. It takes more than a couple of seconds to get to the vert bridge. So I wonder how the mess of the travelers like. Hello, vert bridge. We are at the checkpoint. Right, boss man. Can we go through? Oh, visit Estelle. Joshua too. Hello, Mr. Ashton. And this is Sherazard, if I remember correctly right. Good afternoon, sir. We'd like to cross over into the Bose region, so we were wondering about getting a pass. Let me guess. This has something to do with Lynn, doesn't it? Yeah. Estelle explains that Cassius was aboard the missing airliner. Goodness. Cassius abroad? This is Major. I'll issue a pass right away. 
received the gate pass. Thank you, sir. But it's all right if you issue us a pass just like this. What are you talking about? I know you kiss by face. And as a member of the Royal Army, I would, should do my best to cooperate with the Bracer Guild. Oh, but one other thing. Huh? Be careful if you have any errands at the Hacken Gate north of here. You might want to hide your identities as Bracers there. What do you mean? I'm sorry, but I can't say any more about the matter. But if you do intend to investigate the incident, please do so with discretion. I pray to Aedius. But Cassius is safe return. What's going on there? Why wouldn't you tell me? But if you do intend to investigate the incident, please do so with discretion. Sure. Why are Bracers persona non grata there? So I say, where are you going? To so join the army, this is the first time I've ever been so busy in my life. I guess there's no time to be fishing or reading books. I just bought this book, but I guess I'll give it to you. The chief would be livid if you caught me with this. Okay, we received a book. Carnelia chapter 2. Thank you for the book. So it's joined the... I'm, guess, I'm glad you're busy. I only want to talk to you because you're the one I haven't talked to before. 